Hello, everybody. This is a Chief TV podcast. Today, we have a special edition with a special guest. Today, we are with Ethan Arroyo. Hi, everybody. Uh, like Luke said, my name is Ethan Arroyo. Uh, I'm taller than Luke, believe it or not. He's actually uh, not. Uh, I've known Luke for quite a few years now. We've always been good friends. We played soccer together uh, in both club and high school. So, you know, I'm just out here, sophomore. Let's get her done. Uh, what kind of school activities are you participating in, Ethan? Uh, so, I'm obviously in HOSA. I'm a board member there. Currently director of uh, membership, and I should be vice president by next year. And then I also have Kick Poo You with the uh, Dr. Coffee. It's called my best friend. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> All right. Well, today we are talking about LPA, or as it is now called, court warming. So, Ethan, in the past, have you gone to the school dances, and what were your experiences on those dances? Positive, negative, lay it on me. So, uh, I have never been to a LPA dance before, or I guess court warming dance before, uh, but I've gone to both homecomings the two years I've been here. Uh, the, my freshman year, I had just broken up with my girlfriend at the time, so I went with uh, Katie Pinkowski. And, you know, I, I had fun at first, and then I kind of messed up and left uh, early because I thought she had left. Uh, Tommy and Jackson had talked to me, told me, hey, they just left. And so I just left. Turns out she didn't leave, and she was kind of upset. My fault. And then uh, this last year, you were in my group that we went with, and that was also shocking with uh, Madeline. And you are not wrong, was, sir. It was it was absolutely terrible. We had to go to Wendy's because we were so late. That's and correct. Instead of a different restaurant that was not. <laughs> Selling four for fours. Yeah. Four for four wasn't bad, though. No, it Not wasn't gonna, bad. But, gonna, I mean, obviously, I would rather have gone to a real restaurant, you yeah. know, where you could get served. And <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Sometimes you just need to hear your name from the guy at the cashier. At you the do. Cashier. And you want to see it misspelled on the receipt, obviously. Yeah. Ethan, the most popular name of 2003, is not spelled E-T-A-H-E-A-N. For anybody wondering out there, it's E T H A N. So, all right, perfect. Uh, uh, why didn't you go to LPA last year? Uh, any questions on that or any response? You know, I just didn't have anybody to go with. Nobody asked me, so so I just didn't go. So you, you didn't know. go. You didn't want to, you know, hang yeah, out I'm with your there. friends at homecoming. You know, yeah, I'm not there to bother anybody. You know, everybody's there with their date. I'm not here to walk around and bother people. I mean, I hung out with Grant, I guess, at my house, so. Well, was there any reason that from the previous homecoming that you didn't go? Just, I mean, just to go. I mean, was it just a didn't have a date thing? Or was it any underlying reasons why you didn't go? No, I just didn't go because I uh, didn't have a date. Uh, You know, dances are always more enjoyable when you have uh, a date and you have somebody else to go with. Because actually people want to hang around you and don't want to just, you know, hey, that guy's kind of annoying. Let's get away from him. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, so, as you know, uh, before we got to Kickapoo, the name LPA was used for the dance in the second semester of uh, in the winter. And now when we got to Kickapoo, it got changed to court warming. And I think that all of us freshmen were under the impression that it was called LPA, but it got changed. Do you have any thoughts on the name change and or uh, opinion on it? You know, uh, it's just, to me, it's just a name change because it's still basically the same dance. It's still got a theme. Uh, It's still, I guess, technically ladies pay all. Uh, Isn't that what it stands for? I always forget what it stands for. I don't really uh... know. I just know (laughs) it is uh, LPA. I didn't know if it was ladies pick all or... Sadie Hawkins dance, you know, all the different names that they have. Yeah, uh, but, you know, if whatever suits them, if core warming sounds better than LPA, then go core warming. But, uh, yeah, it's typically girls are asking the guys 
you know, it's 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 no biggie. All right, perfect. So <laughs> now, this is the fun part. Uh, so you were picked as a nominee for the court warming court, I guess. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, did you, how did you find out? Did you want to be nominated? Did, was it was a surprise. How did that happen? Tell me. Yeah. So uh, I was sitting in my, I was sitting at lunch actually, playing my Mad Mobile. You know my my daily schedule. And I get a text from uh, my good friend uh, Luke. I don't know if you know him, but he uh, he was like, he just sent me a little uh, screenshot of uh, Kickapoo Cabinet's Instagram story, and it basically just said, "Here are your core warming nominees. Congratulations!" And uh, me and Grant Mattery happened to be under the sophomore uh, nominees, and it was it was good to see. Uh, and no, I actually didn't ask to be nominated. Uh, the same guy who sent that to me, his name, like, Luke, like I said, uh, just got a whole voting block together, and they just, they all voted me on, so, that's off to him. That is correct. I did, actually. I was going to nominate, I, you know, I was like, I'm gonna throw your name in there, just see how, how it comes out, you know, see if it'll yeah. end up on the final list. And... And then ended up being on the final list. I when I had walked up to go cast my vote for the nominee, I had uh, seen a couple of girls in line, and I said, "You guys should vote for Ethan to be on the court warming court." And when I told them, they said, "Actually, we're voting for Paco, which is great matter, eh? By the way, uh, so it ended up that it worked out. Both of them got on. They're both my friends. It is." Great. I think it will be a great time during that assembly. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, what was the other part of that question? The other part of that question? Yeah. The, uh, uh, your opinion on it. Do you, did you, do you want to be one? Do you think that it'll be fun, or do you think that it will be a letdown and just embarrassing at the assembly? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think it'll be fun. Uh, you know, I'll actually look good for once. At least I'll have nice clothes on for once. Uh, and so, you know, I should have a good escort. Should be a... Should have some funny answers for you guys. Should be should be a good time. All right, now let's move on to the next part of that. You mentioned having an escort. Um, could you tell me your plans for the LPA slash court warming, whatever you would like <laughs> to call it? Uh, how did they happen? You know, just tell me the whole story. Yeah. So uh, if you really want to know the truth about plans for LPA uh, or court warming, rather, uh, they kind of got nuked. Uh, within the last few weeks. How did they get nuked, Ethan? Uh, so, uh, me and my uh, good friend uh, Alyssa had plans to go to LPA together. And I received a lengthy paragraph explaining to me that uh, I was just simply not convenient enough to go with. And, uh, let's see. I still have the uh, conversation saved here for my Snapchat. I do actually have a screenshot of this text as well. And the one that I'm seeing now on pulled up on Ethan's phone is even longer. <laughs> uh, there must be a bigger story than you're telling me here. So this is from August 16th, 2019. So that uh, was not when that we were was playing. not. That was a different story. That is my bad. <laughs> here is so basically explain to me, I'm not convenient enough to go with fair game, uh, and she's basically going to go with somebody else, and that's completely fine. She's going to go with her friends. So, anyway, uh, but then, you know, what re really struck a nerve with me was that she just, how do I say it? She just would not, she would just ignore me for the next week. Uh, she wouldn't snap me, wouldn't talk to me. And then eventually, uh, she started apologizing. Still upset at the time, though. Wounds are still fresh. Fair enough. But, you know, we got her, I got her on FaceTime. I was trying to get this meeting in person because I wanted this to be a face-to-face -face talk. Obviously. So she couldn't, you know, just make up things or get messages from her, her friends. Yes. Uh, now, did you have... How long were these plans set in place? How long were you guys going together? Court warming. There were talks of this around uh, 
say almost a year, but it wasn't no fully our plan until about three months ago, maybe two months ago, when we uh, first started discussing that uh, we wanted to go to LPA together. So uh, anyway, when we were on FaceTime, she uh, started explaining to me that uh, that basically her friend uh, Kobe was rest they were. Uh, not that Kobe, but yes, definitely rest rest in peace to uh, Kobe Bryant. Um, anyway, uh, they went to McDonald's together. They were hanging out, and Kobe was like, "Hey, who are you going to LPA with?" And Alyssa said, uh, "Me and her had plans." And then later that night, uh, Kobe snapped her and was like, "Hey, uh, I'm kind of unhappy that you're going with this Ethan kid. I think you should." change your mind and go with me. And no. so she discussed this with her good friends and after probably maybe like 30 minutes of consideration, long consideration for him, for Quote, her. Quote, unquote. Long yeah. consideration. So she basically explained that, you know, you after this... You weren't good enough. You know? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Not good enough. And Is that that's how it felt? I, yeah. How did, how did it, it feel getting turned down? And does Kobe know you personally? And why, why was he unhappy? Believe it or not, yes, me and Kobe actually knew each other uh, from Spanish 1 freshman year. He was a sophomore, we had the same class together. Pretty cool guy. I wouldn't consider ourselves like friends, we wouldn't hang out outside of school, but we were definitely on a first name basis. We knew each other, we'd uh, say hey to each other in the hallway, but uh, yeah, I don't know the full reason he was upset she was going with me. I don't think it was just because she was going with me specifically. But rather that uh, she was, he was unhappy that she was going with someone else that wasn't him. I see. So I had actually talked to Alyssa before she canceled plans with Ethan. She had texted me. I'm guessing it was the night after she went and talked at McDonald's to Kobe. Uh, She texted me saying that I have a problem. Not me, but Alyssa. She said, quote, I have a problem. She had gone and talked to Kobe, as Ethan said, and she said that she would rather go with Kobe. Um, she said that, you know, just that she didn't, she found someone that she would like to go with, and uh, I, she seen. When I got the impression from her that I thought that she just, you know, didn't want to go with you, and that she wanted to just go with Kobe. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, I felt bad. I told her that she needed to stick to her word, and uh, you know that just kind of didn't happen. She kind of turned her back on Ethan, and um, so she started ignoring you. You know, yep. especially on Snapchat, <laughs> all of that. She had offered to get you another date. Is that correct? That is uh, that is correct. But the person uh, she offered as another date was a great person one of my good friends but yeah. not someone with a friend group that i'd want to be hanging out with for a whole night you know so what I mean? different personality types nothing yeah. wrong with yeah. the person they're a great person all that yeah. but you just wouldn't have a good time together you just you guys would just have different priorities at the dance and you know, want to do different things. Yeah, exactly. Like, all our friends, great people. They're extremely nice. But, like you said, we would have different priorities. Neither of us would probably get do what we wanted to do. That's correct. I have not spoken with Alyssa since this has happened, honestly. You know, I she was giving you the silent treatment. I yep. thought she should get a taste of her own medicine. Now, yes, it is probably a little childish. <laughs> I do admit that. Does that mean I will stop? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We stay childish. Yep. Especially in high school. Now, she has tried apologizing, and she did that maybe once. Then she started getting mad at me because she said that it was not my problem, even though you are my friend, and I and she is my friend as well. Yeah. Is slash was, you know. Yeah. It's how it is. You have every right to be upset just as much as I do because you got roped into it and you weren't even supposed to be involved, really. 
That's correct. You knew before I even I knew, actually. To that is correct. She you. told me on Monday night, and it was after practice. I had actually was looking for you when we were walking to the parking lot, but I could not find you and show you the problem right away. You had gotten out of that, out of that parking lot <laughs> very quickly. And yeah, I was taking Jerry home, so you gotta get great. on the move. You, you really do. That's a that's a long drive. Anyway, so. Now, you do have an escort for court warming. So, would you like to tell the story on how that happened and your feelings on that? Yeah, but real quick, I'd like to uh, finish up the story. I want to get oh, yes, everybody to know course, what course. they uh, so desperately want to know. So, on the FaceTime call, I had actually had no idea that Kobe was involved. I thought someone else was involved. They will not be named. And so, uh, (laughs) that is correct. I did have to tell Ethan that Kobe was involved. Alyssa decided to omit (laughs) that detail from their FaceTime call. Yes. So, uh, anyway, when she told me that it was Kobe who was involved, I was actually a little bit shocked, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. And so... Uh, you know, I really contemplated if we, if I should bother trying to move past this and, or just, you know, say, look, we shouldn't be friends anymore. You know, it's hard to trust somebody when they do something like that. And a friend is somebody you trust. You know what I mean? I do see that dilemma. I do trust you as my friend. I would not disclose, well, not disclose, but, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, like, yeah. secret's safe with me. That kind of thing. Exactly. So, now would you like to tell the story of your new escort and who that might be? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, my third block class, I, uh, I was going to go print out some papers when uh, some of my peers in the class were like, Ethan, you're on the, uh, you're on the court. And I was like, that's sweet. And so, uh, but then I realized, wait, with this whole Alyssa thing, I don't have an escort. So... I, I assembled a team. I had Grant, the other sophomore court, you obviously, and your friends. That is correct. And uh, and then some of the people in that third block who were upperclassmen. So we started looking, started looking, and then it came down to that actually that Justin's meeting for our beautiful class ring we're putting together, and uh, Paco texted me and was like, "Hey, uh, would you mind going with Emma Benson?" And then Emma Benson stopped me, and you were like, hey, they were asking if uh, I wanted to escort you. And so, you know, after talking for a bit, I'm going to es- – wait, Emma Benson's going to escort me. I'm not escorting, right? Yeah, so that is correct. I'm going to have Emma Benson escort me. I am still looking for plans to go to LPA, though. So, Well, that is wonderful. Uh, I actually did speak to Emma Benson that day. She had posted on her private story on Snapchat a video of her in her new black cocktail dress, which is the dress that they were supposed to get for being on the court. She had snapped me, and I had said that I am so proud of her to step up to the plate and go with you and escort you. Exactly. I was very happy with her. I had actually then called her that night explaining everything that happened with Elissa because I feel like she had a good reason to know. Yeah. So, for future dances, are you going to go through this again? Or will you completely take yourself away from these dances? You know, I still want to get go to these dances. I feel like these are good experiences to have, you know, good stories to tell. There's always good stories with these dances. But I got to, you know, I got to make sure that the person I'm planning on going with is... Is fully committed and is not going to uh, pull an Alyssa on me. That is a great word, Ethan. Well, that is all the time that we have for today. I must say thank you very much for being on this podcast. And I hope to one day have you again. And for Chief TV, this has been Luke Courtney and Ethan Arroyo signing off.